guys. It's the Cool Animal Crew, and we're going to show you about capillary action as part of our podcast about the thorny double. So we have today Clara and Corduroy. Hey. Oh, hello. We've got Teddy and Barry. Hi. Hi. And we've got Grady and Jaguar. Hi. Oh. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Excuse the mess in the other room. Hey, Jaguar. Okay, so for our experiment, we don't need, we don't need that many things, but we have a glass of water. We have some food coloring, and we have two paper towels. We have one, two, three glasses, and a dandelion. I think a white flower would be better, but we don't have one right now. And we have three kids. One, two, three, and three stuffed animals. All right. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to fill up this cup with some blue food coloring. Gray, do you want to do that? Maybe like, uh, I don't know, a big squeeze. We want it to be nice dark blue. All right, that's good. And then um, who wants to do the yellow food I'll coloring? Do, I'll do, no, so I'll you guys do. can both do some yellow and this one. So Claire, you can go first, and then Teddy, you can go second. I will say red. Yeah. It is red, not yellow. Okay, and then you can let, why don't you move corduroy so he doesn't get food coloring on him. And then you can let Teddy do some. Can I see yellow? Yeah, I, well, I think it will look yellow once we put in the water. That's okay. okay, good. All right, and then we can add more if we need more. Oops. Grady, why don't you pour, <coughs> nope, pour the water into the blue? Pour, pour it so it's like half of it. pretty, yeah, half of it. It's okay if it spills, it's just water. Okay. Yeah, that looks uh, a little more. Okay, and then we'll pour some, so, it spilled a lot, so I'm going to just fill up some more water. And then, um, and then Clara, you can fill that one up with water. This is for an experience. It's okay, we can make another paper towel. Okay, that's good. And they should be about the same height. So maybe a little bit more, Clara. Yeah, all right, close enough. All right, it's not like it says a science or anything. All right, now the next thing we need to do is take this paper towel and twist it up so it's nice and tight, like a nice tight rod. You should be right, baby. And then we need to do it with two, so. Yeah, Teddy, you can do this one. And twist it up nice and tight. Okay, really tight. Okay, now Grady, put one end of yours in the blue and the other end in the one with the flower. So it's making like an, an upside down U. There we go. You can already see the capillary action working. So do you see the water traveling up the paper towel? That is capillary action going from the water clinging to the sides of the paper towel because that is the adhesion being stronger than the cohesion of the water molecules. And then Clara's done the yellow one. You can see the capillary action going there too. All right. Now, we're going to check back in in a minute, and you should see that the water has gone all the way to the end of the paper towel. You can just let it go, Grady. And then into the other cup. And then eventually, we should also hopefully see the yellow dandelion start to turn green as the yellow and blue dye combine in this one to make green water. And then the green water climbs up the stem of the flower. So we'll check back in in a couple minutes to see if it worked. Hey guys, we're back with the one hour update. We have the blue going into this glass, the yellow going into the same glass, and this is super cool if you get really close. You can see blue on that side, yellow on that side, and then green when they connect because what do yellow and blue make? Green. Great, I can also see your sweatshirt reflected upside down in the bottom of the glass, so that's cool. Weird. I can see your face reflected upside down in the glass. So we have, it hasn't reached up to the top of the flower yet, but guys, what's happening here? Why is this happening? Come to do something. <laughs> Capillary action. Capillary action. <coughs> so the water molecules are going up the paper towel through adhesion rather than cohesion and going into this middle glass where they're combining. All right, we'll be back again soon with our flower update. But if you're doing this at home, it's been almost exactly an hour and now it's dripping into the middle glass.
Okay, it's been another 20 minutes and we've added some stuff to our experiment. We did find some white flowers. We found some white cherry blossoms. And then this pretty flower, I actually don't know what it is, that has <coughs> some white in the middle. And then look at how much green is now in the middle of the cup. Or in the middle cup, I should say. Well, I mean, it's not as much as this, but no, no. it's still a lot. But eventually, what do you think will happen? How big, how much, how filled do you think that middle cup will be by the end? It's pretty full. Yeah. My guess is that they'll all end up being about the same size, although maybe not exactly since the blue one was bigger to begin with. Mm -hmm. All right, so this has been another 20 minutes. We So it's been about an hour and 20 minutes since we started our experiment, and we've got about a half an inch of green liquid now, and we'll check back in when our flowers have some color. Okay guys, we are back. It is the next morning, and we're looking at our experiment. I'm noticing a couple of things. What do you notice about the water level in the middle based on where it was yesterday? It's, it's higher. Mm -hmm. yeah, and these ones are lower. Yeah. And then our flowers are, it's kind of interesting. Our flowers have not totally worked yet, but you can see in the cherry blossoms that they've gotten yeah, quite a bit of green in there. Right there. The dandelion is not doing too good. It did not like being put in this bath and it still looks very yellow. So I'm calling that one right now inconclusive. And then this flower is wilting a little bit too and I don't see any green in there yet either. We're gonna check back in one more time after school today. So in about um, six or seven hours and we'll see the end result of our experiment. Well, hey, it looks like the, they're up. The green has been traveling up this stem. Yeah, when we're done, you know what? We should cut open the stems and see what they look like. All right, we'll be back soon. Okay, we're back from school. So it's been almost 24 hours since we started our experiment. And here's the end result. What, what do you think about the water level? Did it get any higher while you guys were gone, do you think? No, not really. No. This one drooped a lot. Yeah, so our theory here is that it didn't actually get any water. So maybe the stem is broken or something. So the capillary and reaction didn't work. This one bloomed back up, but it didn't get any water. No, I don't, what do you think? It looks maybe a little bit darker right in the middle. That could be the green. Yeah, I guess. And but then this one worked a This lot. one worked. And I bet if we kept it in for longer, if the petals weren't so delicate, then it would turn even greener. Okay, we're gonna check something out. We're gonna cut open the stems and see if we can see the dye actually going up the stems. All right, we're back to look at the insides of the stems. Now here's the one that wilted. It's kind of hard to tell, but my guess is right here where, the, where it bends. It didn't get any water because it just wilted. It didn't really do anything else. But you can see the dye at the very bottom there where the capillary action is working. Here's the dandelion. You can see the dye going up pretty high, pretty high here, and then it kind of peters out before it got up to the top very well. Okay, and then here's the one that worked the best. This is the um, the uh, cherry blossom, and you can see. Do you see how it's pretty green? <coughs> we did a comparison with just a fresh branch right here, and that one is much more yellow. So if you compare the two. It's a little more yellow, that's a little more green. So that's capillary action, and that is how the thorny double drinks its water. So it doesn't take that long. No, it doesn't <laughs> take that long, hopefully. All right, thanks for staying tuned, guys. This is our first attempt at this, so next time we'll try a little bit better with the video pictures and everything. I think the landscape works better, but thanks for checking it out, and I hope you guys try this at home.